Today we're pushing past the legends with the three musketeers. So with that being said, let's jump into our very first match. Uh, so um, balances have finally hit, which is why it took me so long to make uh, this video. Basically, I was waiting for balances to come, and um, there was a slight glitch that happened, which uh, delayed the balances. But now they are finally here. Evolutions are finally balanced, or at least a little bit more balanced. I'm gonna use the void to counter this um, jumping barrel, and it does a good job. Um, and you may have noticed, there's a new card, the Void, and we'll be trying using it, I will be trying it out with the Stream Musketeers, um, so we'll see if it works. Uh, the Void is a bit of a tricky spell, basically you get a lot more value if you target onto one troop than you do having a bunch of Spanish troops, so for the most part it's like a lightning, but everything can lightning rod it, so, so we'll try to, um, uh, try to like pick and choose some cards whenever we use the Void. But until then, we'll just uh, try to play this match. I do have an elixir pump in the back left corner, but um, a bad thing is they they they, they nerfed the pump. <laughs> the pump just takes so much longer to um, use its. Uh oh gosh, that's not good. Oh, the void's not gonna be able to do a good job at this. Oh, that's the problem with void. It's not good at splash. But they did nerf the pump. Basically, it takes a little bit longer for you to produce elixir, which means um, the pump is just gonna be. Take its, it's gonna take its time before you get the elixir that you uh, usually get. And it's also more vulnerable to rocket, that's probably the biggest uh, difference. Uh, there were some instances in the with the old pump where you could counter rocket by um, just by ha having more elixir and being a lot faster, but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. But look at that, the void plus ghost does uh, counter bowler, <laughs> so that's a pretty nice interaction. The void is just so powerful, it can freaking hard counter Sparky for half the price if you can target it on correctly. I'll put down another pump now because this guy is just letting me put down so many pumps, so I'm gonna abuse it and use it as, use as many as I can. I'm gonna use my um, eBay skills this guy crosses the bridge, and I'm gonna save my heal spirit for that. Um, Skeleton Barrel. I'm not, not quite good with their placement, but it's fine. I'm gonna use a Void on that knight. And also on that fight And he's just, he's just giving me so many pumps. So I'll put down another pump, and since Subalister has hit, it is time for our Stream Musketeer. This is a Stream Musketeer deck after all, and what kind of game would this be if there wasn't Stream Musketeer? So we're gonna use him right here, right now. I put one on the left, and I'm gonna abuse that by using Battle Ram to, uh, Take care of that um, battle. Uh, take care of that Mega Knight. Well, Princess Connect, but that's not too much of a problem. I'm gonna use versus left hand side with my um, uh, Holy Barbarian. Use the Void to take care of that Firecrack. Oh man! Okay, that's the problem with, uh, with trying to target strip the Void. It's just sometimes they just walk out of range, <laughs> but it's fine. It's just three elixir, and plus these pumps already made it up, so we'll just continue this push. I'm gonna use a predicted Void. Since it does take so long, you can technically use Prediction Void, so um, keep that in mind. However, if you do a Prediction Void, you're not guaranteed to get all three shots in because it, um, it has a time interval, and if you miss it, you're not going to get it. So there we go for every first game, and we'll go into another match and hopefully see how well it goes. Also, if you do not have the Max Void, uh, I would also consider using stuff like Zap, Barbarian Barrel, maybe even Rage, um, because like not everyone has uh, void, the Void Max. That's nice, look at it. Oh, oh, no, never mind. I thought that, um, that bandit was gonna kill me. Also, another good balance change is they nerfed the Dagger Duchess. She was just so powerful. I'm surprised they let her be so powerful for so long. Hopefully, that ram doesn't see that. Oh. It looks kind of like he's playing Expo. It really looks like he's playing Expo. I think he's playing Expo. Expo? Expo? Okay. Maybe Goblin Joy, I don't know. Goblin Joy has been nerfed, so we probably don't have to worry about it too much. And... I want to try a Prediction Void. Watch this, guys. Oh, no. The Skeletons. <laughs> prediction Void! Oh, let's go! That's a good thing about it taking so long, but there is some cons about it. For example, if you're going against a fast troop and you void it, there's a chance that the fast troop might just zip through the void and you'll only get one or two strikes. So uh, do keep that in mind. We'll use a Royal Ghost to counter this Goblin Drill because it does have that nice splash. I thought he was going to use Expo, but um, I guess with the Bomber it makes more sense for him to be using his uh, Goblin Drill. Also, another good balance change is they nerfed the poison. The poison, like tower damage, that is. Poison is not going to be as effective as like a uh, cycle to uh, win anymore. So you don't have to worry about that uh, being as deadly on your tower. So uh, this poison is going to be fine on my pump. Uh, let's see if this uh, pump interaction has changed. Balance just hit this morning, so I'm not quite sure about these new 
directly. Hopefully I pump produce that second elixir. Right? Okay, good. Okay, so it looks like um, you're still getting the same amount of elixir for for the most part, I, I think. But we will we will see as we um, continue to use these new uh, balances in for the future. Who does try to use them better deal? Not gonna be too effective against my e -babes. Yeah. Um, uh, it is double elixir. Before I use my stream excuse, I'm gonna try to bait out his um, poison. And I'm just gonna also get rid of these um, the bombers. He also gets enough chip damage here. And not too much chip damage. If you do want to chip damage to tower, basically, you want to use the Void on stone. Why isn't he? Come on, man. Use your uh, use your cards against me. Okay, there's his poison. I was kind of thinking of things just on my uh, pump, but I guess not. And it's time for Streamers to use in the very back. Two on the right, one on the left. Basically, our plan is to support this left side as much as possible, while keeping this right side a little bit healthy, but not as powerful. And he's going to use a Tesla. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to avoid it. Um, that was a waste of Wetsuit, of course. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> so that was a waste of Wetsuit, but it's fine. We do have a pump in the back making up our uh, zip, um, the loss. And we must keep on the right-hand side to connect. Basically, both sides are looking pretty devastating, and the Battle Ram gives us that second win of today. And we will try out one more game, uh, and hopefully we will win the last one. And we are in a new uh, league. Welcome to Champion League, and let's see how far we can get. One more game for today, and we'll just hop into it. Uh, also, if you're not a fan of the new pump, I would probably recommend uh, replacing it with something like Golden Knight, maybe even Mirror. Oh, he has Giant. Oh, crap. That's not good, is it? But uh, we'll use a bandit to counter that many people. And then uh, what's left of the bandit will be used to take care of that. Oh, that was close. <laughs> will be used to take care of that job. <clears throat> Giant uh, might get a hit or two, but that is totally fine. I'm just going to let that bomber get hit in return. I want his pump. Let's see what he has for it. Oh, he has the void. Four cards away from his next void. Problem with the void is it freaking hard counters pump if you have nothing to support your pump. So next time I'll put the pump in the mer uh, middle so I can support it a little bit more. <coughs> okay, and hopefully he can deal a little damage. Nope, not quite. That's fine. Three cards away from his next void, I believe. And let's just. Oh, you know, he's gonna put Giant on the back left, or back right. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of damage. Okay, that's fine too. Basically, I mean, his Giant push is not gonna be as strong, so I uh, split up his elixir just a little bit, which is probably enough for me to, like, survive whatever push he had in mind. Nice wizard, man. You shame if I avoided it. <laughs> oh, look at that! The Void gets rid of that bomber! We're going to abuse it. We're going to use a Battle Ram and try to get a little bit of damage. Please, one hit on that Tesla. Hopefully, two. Not right there, but there we go. And this push is looking devastating. I'm going to support it with a Bandit. We're going to try to get as much damage as humanly possible. You see the... Uh, that oh, oh, cool. Um, basically, Evolved Barbarians have been nerfed by like 10% health or something, but they still survive a mini P.E.K.K.A. hit. I doubt they would survive a... I'm not a peg of hit anymore, but it's fine. This guy does have the void, so let me show you. Oh, never mind. Uh, he is gonna try to use a um, void on my pump. So here's how you counter a void. Basically, put it something next to it. That wasn't a good example. Normally, if like if you have something like bad, that's the best thing to have. And uh, let's try to avoid that um, wizard. <laughs> Bye, wizard. But that bomber is being a nuisance. The good thing is, Bomber isn't every cycle now, it's like every other, so it's manageable. Uh, crap, 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 crap. Bomber, Bomber, please, mercy, Bomber! Have mercy on my tower! Bomber! Jump, Bomber! My musketeers! Bomber! Oh my gosh, Bomber's just so powerful. I wish they nerfed his health a little bit, but it's fine. I don't, I'm not sure if we're gonna win this last game, but it doesn't really matter because we are on a golden step. Let's see if he plays his job here. Okay. Uh, down a pump. Okay. He's gonna try to avoid it. It's not gonna work. Because I got my early barbarian to tank. And my heal will tank too. And hopefully we can take care of this giant. 
for doing many barbarians. And to some chip damage, so it's fine. Uh, put the Shima Tears in the very back. Hopefully, try to get a miracle out of you guys. And we might be able to win. Get an ego. And we'll just avoid him. Get him out of here. He's such a nuisance. Get out of here, man. Too powerful. Go! Oh, okay, there we go. I did try to lightning one of those the other day, and that didn't work out very well. So, that was fun. I right, rush this guy to support my musketeers as much as possible. Musketeer connects out evil farmer, which is amazing. Those guys are just so annoying. And we'll just continue this push as much as we can to as much tanks as possible. And I feel like he's gonna Tesla here or something. <laughs> there we go, and it takes care of those skeletons, which gives us the third game for today. That is an amazing prediction. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.